Let's do some more questions on this acid conjugate base or the base conjugate acid. And just to recollect your memory, remember that acid has one hydrogen extra as compared to its conjugate base. So the first question you're going to do is which is the stronger base F minus or CN minus? In order to do that, let's just write the equation of them as bases. So F minus reacts with water to give you HF and OH minus. And CN minus gives you HCN and OH minus. And the KBs of the two uh, are given. So the best way to know which is the stronger basis, compare the KBs. And you realize that KB for cyanide CN minus is uh, larger. Hence, cyanide's reaction is more favored. Therefore, cyanide is a stronger base than F minus. The next question is, which is the stronger acid, NH4 plus or C6HY NH3 plus? Uh, this is the conjugate uh, acid for aniline and the base, the acid reactions are given. With water, they uh, lose, they form hydronium ion H3O+. The Ka's are also given. So, comparing the Ka, we realize that the aniline reaction, C6HY NS3 plus reaction is more favored and therefore, the uh, conjugate acid of uh, aniline, the C6HY NS3 plus, is the stronger acid than ammonium plus. The K of some acids are given below. Arrange their conjugate bases in the increasing order of basic strength. The acids given are HSO4 minus HF, HCN and HI. And the first thing we will do is let's calculate the KB of their conjugate bases. And the conjugate bases of those acids are listed and the KBs are also listed. As we know, HI is a strong acid, it won't have a value for Ka and hence the if Ka for HI is strong, Kb for I minus will be weak. And the strength of the acid we know increases with increases in Ka. Therefore, uh, based on the Ka values, HI is the strongest and HCN is the weakest. The uh, trend in conjugate base will be opposite of this. The strength of the conjugate base will have the opposite strength and therefore as that of the acids. And therefore, I minus will be the weakest conjugate base and CN minus will be the strongest conjugate base as written there. Given that Kb of ammonia is 1.8 into the power of negative 5 and that of H2PO4 minus is 1.4 into the power of negative 12, predict which one will have a stronger conjugate acid. So, the conjugate acid of ammonia is NH4 plus and the Kb is given. And the, using the value of Ka times Kb equals into the power of minus 14, we can get the value of Ka of NH4 plus. And that's calculated as 5.4, 5 10 to the power of negative 10. Now, similarly, the conjugate acid for H2PO4 minus is H3PO4. And the K from the Kb of H2PO4, I can get the value of Ka of H3PO4 and that comes as 7.1 10 to the power of negative 3. Now compare the Ka of H3PO4 and Ka of NH4 plus and we realize that H3PO4 is a stronger acid than NH4 plus. Certain compounds can behave both as an acid and a base. Such compounds we call them as amphoteric compounds. Write down the conjugate acids and bases for the compounds given. The compounds given are water, bicarbonate, bisulfite, H2PO4- and HPO4-. In order to write the conjugate acid, well, I keep saying that the acid has one H extra. So, add an H positive to the compound. So, the conjugate acids are H3O+, H2CO3, H2SO3, H3PO4 and H2PO4-. To the same compound, we can write the conjugate bases also. In order to write the conjugate basis, just take away one hydrogen from that. So, if you take away an H positive from that, the remaining compound for water will be OH minus. Then for bicarbonate, it will be CO3 2 minus. HSO3 minus, it will be SO3 2 minus. And H2PO4 minus, it is HPO4 2 minus. And of course, for hydrogen phosphate, it is phosphate, PO4 3 minus.